Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Presentation on Sketch the Character of Bosola. Course name Elizabeth and Jacobian Drama. Course teacher Our Honorable Teacher K. M. Wazid Kabir, Associated Professor and Chairman, Department of English. Presented by Shagorika Yasmin. ID is 20192024, Department of English. In my presentation, I am going to discuss several parts of Daniel the Bosola, a Machiavelli villain. In English literature, three top villains. Daniel the Bosola is one of them. Beginning of my speech, I compare several villains with Bosola. First of all, Yago. Yago is an unredeemed villain, but Bosola is a redeemed villain. Yago never realized his mistake, but Bosola said, I must correct myself at the end of the drama. And Yago, last moment of his life, he remained unchanged, uncorrect, and uh, they are doing, and he not changed. He not uh, he understand what his mistake. Yago never realized his mistake. Yago is an example of unredeemed villain, and Bosola is an example of redeemed villain because. At the end of the drama, Bosola realized his mistake that he'd done. We know that Bosola is a Machiavelli villain, but when there will be realization that I have done something wrong and I have sorry for that and I must, uh, must uh, amend myself and I must correct myself. I must not do anything wrong. This kind of realization when comes in a character is known as that is redeemed villain. And Yagon is an unredeemed villain. In the drama Duchess of Malfi, we know that Bosola is a tool villain who can be hired. Uh, when a character is made to work for the sake of money or for the Made, uh, made of promotions, uh, he is called a tool villain. In the drama Duchess of Malfi, Cardinal and Ferdinand, they are also villain here, but they are not tool villain. They are Machiavelli villain. In this part, I discuss how a villain turned into a hero. Last of the Act 4, we saw that Bosola took money from Cardinal and Ferdinand in exchange for killing the Duchess and her children. In this drama, Webster is a moralistic poetry justice. There is no poet novel than Webster. From this point of view, ethics and morality. In this Act 5, we saw that our protagonist, Duchess, her husband, Antony and her servant, they are killed. Only three villains remain. They are Bozola, Cardinal and Ferdinand. Now this is the main turning point of the drama. How a villain turned into a hero. Uh, we know that he was basically a villain but after the act 4 and beginning of the act 5, he became a hero. Now he stood for justice truth. He is an agent in hand of justice. He is an agent of truth and agent in the hand of beauty. He is an agent of all beautiful things of earth. Bozola is transformation. He was a moral nomenity. He becomes a, a moral hero. In this drama, Bozola becomes a moral hero from moral non-entity. He becomes a correct man. He became, uh, he became repented from the wrong uh, sin he had done. In the act 4 uh, of drama, he, uh, his transformation um, metaphor most and uh, this is changed and he became a better man, correct man initially. 
uh, he took for uh, now injustice and here finally we took for justice initially he took for uh, corruption and here he is standing for truth at uh, what i said truth and beauty so this change is from this change is found here in the uh, character of bosola realization in this part i will tell how bosola realization uh, his corrupt and what steps he took follow we know that bosola is the spy plant by duke ferdinand as the stable master at the duchess street he is a man who is uh, used to doing the dirty work for others before the events of the play he spent time in jail uh, for murdering men on the orders of the cardinal he is also aware that the man who do the dirty work seldom actually get the rewards promised them as the cardinal refused to speak or be seen with him even so thought he feels guilty for all the activities he had done this time he got the realization actually uh, that he do lots of corrupt things and that he uh, done by this is not good and the duchess is died now uh, now he uh, and does not even wants to be became a spy uh, when uh, duke ferdinand offers him the payment to become one he feels that it is the duty to obey the duke and accept that to follow orders he must become corrupt after he participates in the torture of the duchess thought his guilt became so great and ferdinand's ref uh, refusal to pay him for his services outrageous that swift uh, sight and plans to help antonio and kill the all a uh, devil ferdinand and cardinal this is uh, that his plans go away and he accidentally kills antonio may suggest that it is not so simply to suddenly become good and moral but he does willingly sacrifice himself he got the realization he understand what the mistakes he done so see so he sacrificed her life and he died the all antagonist and uh, the cardinal the cardinal and the ferdinand both he killed so this way the drama ends with the death of everyone the protagonist the antagonist but only one person remain in the end only one a uh, person he is the duchess eldest son survives uh, we can say we can say that he is the only eye witness to uh, this tragedy this driven tragedy he is the only eye to eye witness merit this is the time of my observation after reading this drama i can say as bosola is a machiavelli villain at the same time he is also a redempt villain he feels guilty for his corrupt that he done and same time he uh, he has take revenge by killing all the enemies he also killed himself and it's proof that he has realized his mistake and um, and and is feeling very sorry for himself as bosola had many aspects we see in beginning of the drama but in the end of the drama we got to see lots of good aspects he took revenge and uh, he kills those all the enemies he drove out all the sinner from the earth and we can say it that he uh, lived a sinless beautiful and a peaceful world for the duchess son 
The Duchess of Melfi is a Jacobian revenge tragedy written by English dramatist John Webster. The play begins as a love story ends with a revenge tragedy and we see lots of character they represent the renaissance period. Webster's style is relevant on the dense symbol imagery. The Duchess by the far the strongest woman in the play as a passionate noble woman who reject her brother's demands for the sake of love unbroken by cruel treatment she proclaimed before her death and said i am duchess of melfi still